It's got a nozzle called the Staubly. Ian Bailey is in charge of the vehicle fleet at Warren Wilson College. And that's the Quick Connect Staubly nozzle in here that that attaches to. When he got 10 new vehicles in 2019 that run on propane fuel, he not only saw an environmental benefit, but it also saved the college money. And when gas prices get high and competitive, we see that $3.50, $4 a gallon, I sometimes pay more than $2 a gallon less for propane. Warren Wilson College is a partner of the Land of Sky Clean Vehicles Coalition. The program helps vehicle fleets save energy and promote the use of domestic fuels in advanced vehicle technologies. There's a lot of focus on electric vehicles and clearly there's a reason for excitement there, but also there's uh, other alternative fuels here in Western North Carolina that are used like propane, uh, biodiesel, and compressed natural gas. The Clean Vehicles Coalition also partners with local governments like the city of Hendersonville and Henderson County. Both municipalities have been outfitted with biodiesel and compressed natural gas vehicles to reduce greenhouse gases. And measuring the environmental impact before the pandemic, we uh, cut eight thousand metric tons of emissions in the air, which is the equivalent of about 1,800 vehicles off the road every day. So we're a little late in the season, but this is an example of some of the permaculture gardening. On the campus of UNC Asheville, their emphasis on renewable energy can be illustrated by the Sam Millar Facilities Complex. Our Student Environmental Center uh, has three gardens on campus that they maintain and manage. It incorporates a number of environmentally sustainable design features both inside and outside the building. Those things, putting in solar panels, for example, where we are making clean energy and then offsetting energy costs, those to me are just are win-win situations all the way around. The building also uses a geothermal heating and cooling system which draws energy from the earth to provide cooling in the summer and heating in the winter. We see and identify places we can make improvements all the time, but it's always a challenge to find funding that we can direct to those things. So we do spend a lot of time seeking out grants where we can find those or being creative in how we use the finances we have to implement things you know, to, to improve our sustainability stance. Uh, so this is the propane dispenser. Um, For Ian Bailey, he also struggles to find funding to create a more energy efficient fleet. That's why he's slowly upgrading his vehicles over time and looks forward to more research and technology that will make the initial investment more manageable. There's a lot of good solutions. We're finally starting to really acknowledge the uh, development and research work in alternative fuels and electrification. And I think that the fact that we're finally, uh, as a nation, embracing that makes a big difference.